So class question 12, we are given figure 4, we have an iron ring and a cylindrical iron rod. This is the iron rod. So our iron ring is to fix only on a cylindrical iron rod. Later, we will try to put the iron ring pass through this cylindrical rod. Okay, so ni kan ada lubang kan, so kita nak pass through kan dia kepada iron rod ni lah. So, at 20 degrees Celsius, the diameter of the rod is given by 6.445 cm and the inside diameter of the ring is, the diameter of the ring is 6.420 cm. To slip over the rod, kalau kita nak bolehkan iron ring ni pass through the rod, the ring must be slightly larger than the rod diameter by about 0.08 cm. So, the question asks us to what temperature, to what temperature must the ring to be brought if its hole is to be large enough so that it will slip over the rod. So, we are given the coefficient of linear expansion of the iron is 12 to the power of negative 6 Kelvin minus 1. So, uh, our, we are given the initial temperature. The initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. At that time, the diameter of the ring, the diameter of the ring, the initial diameter of the ring at 20 degrees Celsius is 6.240 centimeter. Okay, then the question asks us, what is the final temperature in order for us, for the ring to be brought if it's hole to be large enough so that it will slip over the rod. Kalau you perhatikan, initially, iron ring ni, dia punya diameter tu kurang daripada cylindrical rod. So, dia tak boleh nak pass through. Dia tak boleh nak lalu cylindrical iron rod ni. So, apa yang kita perlu buat ialah, kita kena panaskan dia. Kita kena heat up. We need to heat up the ring so that it will expand. So, the ring will expand. And then, dia kena expand kepada satu diameter final yang sama dengan diameter of the rod campur lagi berapa? 0.008 cm. Sebab soalan tu kata, in order to slip over the rod, the ring must be slightly larger than the rod diameter by about 0.008 cm. Okay, so maksudnya, kalau kita nak ring ni pass through lah, kita lukis ring kat sini, so dia mesti lebih besar sikit. Ha, besar sikit berapa? 0.008. Ha, dia jadi lebih besar sikit macam ni. Ha, slightly larger. Ha, then dia boleh lalu lah, dia boleh lalu cylindrical rock ni. So, this iron ring dia boleh lalu cylindrical rock ni. So, dia mesti jauh lebih besar sikit lah. Slightly, slightly larger lah. Slightly larger. Ha, macam ni. Ha, slightly larger. So, maksudnya, the final, kita kena heat up iron ring ni supaya final diameter dia adalah 6.445 cm plus with slightly larger. Larger berapa? 0.008 cm. So, the final diameter in order for the iron ring to pass through the cylindrical rod will be 6.453 cm. 6.453 cm. Okay. So, kita nak cari lah berapa temperature. Berapa final temperature supaya iron ring ni akan expand daripada diameter 6.420 cm kepada 6.453 cm. So, kita nak guna expansion mana satu? Length, area ke volume. So, kalau kita perhatikan, the diameter, diameter of the ring can relate with Area. Kita boleh relatekan dengan area di mana area untuk satu bulatan adalah pi r square. So r ialah radius. Radius adalah diameter bahagi dua kuasa dua. So kita dapat pi 
diameter kuasa 2 bahagi 4. So, kita faham kerana diameter boleh relate dengan area. So, kita akan gunakan area expansion lah untuk selesaikan soalan ni. So, we are going to use area expansion lah to solve the question. Oops, sorry. Okay, so kita guna area expansion. So, kita teruskan di sini. So, final area mesti ialah initial area in bracket 1 plus beta delta T. So, kalau nak cari final temperature yang membolehkan kita heat up dia supaya dia boleh slip over the rod, kita dapatkan change in temperature dululah. So, the final area will be by D final squared over 4. Initial area will be pi initial area squared over 4 in bracket 1 plus beta. Beta is not given. The question gives us the coefficient of linear expansion alpha. So, beta adalah 2 kali alpha. So, change of temperature. Okay. Lepas tu kita teruskan. Mana yang boleh cancel, teacher cancel kan dulu. Pi boleh saling cancel. 4 boleh saling cancel. So, last kita tinggal di, di, diameter final. So, final punya diameter adalah 6.453 cm. The initial diameter is 6.420 cm. So, kita masukkan 6.453 Square initial adalah 6.420 square 1 plus 2 times alpha 12 to the power of negative 6 change in temperature. Okay, so kita selesaikan kita akan dapat change in temperature dulu. So kalau anda kira dengan betul change in temperature should be 429.58 degree Celsius. Okay. After you get the change in temperature, barulah you cari the final temperature for the ring. Di mana? Okay, sorry. Di mana? Change of temperature will be the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So, the final temperature ialah Initial temperature plus with change in temperature. So, initial temperature untuk ring adalah 20. Change in temperature is 429.58. And then you get the final temperature that you must raise up uh, in order for the ring to fix pass through the cylindrical rod. Okay, so if you calculate correctly, you will get the value should be 449.58 degrees Celsius.